Um, America's housing crunch is getting tighter as mortgage rates keep on climbing. The 30-year rate recently hit its highest level in more than 20 years. Jake Carroll Alexis is live for us. And Jake, how much are these high rates affecting the home buying process? Anthony and Natalie, they're forcing buyers to save up a lot more money to afford a home, especially those who are looking to buy a house for the first time. We're still continuing to rent, and I think we will continue to rent until we see a, a good drop in the numbers. Shweta Sugnani has been looking to buy a house around western Washington for about two years. She hasn't had much luck so far and says rising interest rates have really limited what she's able to afford. When it comes to working out the numbers, the high interest rates do play like a big, if not the biggest, uh, part in determining whether or not we can afford the house. According to Freddie Mac, the average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage climbed above 7.2% in August, the highest level since 2001. This time last year, it was just over 5.5%. That means last year, a $400,000 mortgage would have cost around $1,800 a month. This year, it would be $1,000 more. The increase is putting buyers in a tough spot. Rates seem to be remaining high for the short term, so I don't see the situation improving in the next year all that much. Shweta says she's willing to wait out the high interest rates to an extent. I think we're going to reach a point where we're going to need a bigger house. And at that point, I think we would consider buying even if interest rates are slightly higher. Redfin says a lack of supply is also a problem, as people who locked into lower interest rates during the pandemic have no interest in selling their homes as rates rise. In Seattle, Jake Carolexis, Fox 32 Chicago. Thank you, Jake.